What do you just want to be on show? Hey, Honcho. Dang on the screen. Eight. I think it's eight riddles. See, can you pick who, who is the killer? All right. Eight detective riddles to test how awesome your logic skills are. Today, Brightside gives you the opportunity to feel like a real detective by solving cases using just a few hints. After each riddle, you will have 15 seconds to think it over. If you need more time to think, just pause the video. And if you crack at least one mystery, hit the like button. All right, Sherlock, here we go. Counting down from number eight, Escape. Once a famous detective, Stevenson, had to find an escaped prisoner. He knew the criminal was hiding in one of these houses, but he had to know the exact address so as to not frighten the criminal away. First, he took a photo of the houses with the help of a drone. When he looked at the photo, he realized where the criminal was. So, can you understand where that fugitive was and what helped the detective find him? You have 15 seconds. Your time yeah. has started. The answer is eight. It is a whole trail leading to the house. Oh, that was like a walkway. I think it's C. There are some windows that I can see. So that was a walkway in eight. Are you ready to check your guesses? There's no windows that you see in this. The murderer was in house A. You see, the car standing nearby was the only car parked facing the road. It would let the criminal escape quickly. I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't see the plan either, so I have to be closer, because I didn't, I didn't see the car facing that way. I don't see the car, I just knew it was a trail. Number seven, detective's tragedy. One morning, the detective had an argument with his wife and went away without his cell phone and the keys. In the evening, when he returned home, he found his colleague, his scared wife, and a murdered man. Stephen's wife told her story. I was sitting in the living room when I heard the doorbell. I thought it was my husband and opened the door. But a criminal pushed me, and so I stabbed him with a knife. The detective ordered the policeman to arrest his wife because she had planned to kill him. How did the detective figure it out? Time to rack your brain. I don't know. This is too short. I have no idea. I kind of want to listen to the, the words. So I don't know. Say I don't know, bro. I ain't no killer. So I'm pushing. I, I kind of want to listen to the words. Unfortunately, Mrs. Stevens indeed planned to kill her husband. She went to open the door with a knife because she thought it was her husband. That's simple. Number six, mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. murder. Mary and Ben lived with their four friends. One day, Ben came home and found Mary dead on the sofa. Bummer. He called the police. The detective arrived and realized that Mary had been killed not so long ago. He interrogated all four friends. That's what their stories told. Mia was in the kitchen and said she'd come home two hours ago and gone to the kitchen. John was reading a book in the garden. It's he said he hadn't left though. the place that day. Jennifer said she had been swimming in a swimming pool for three hours. Jane was painting in her room. Unexpectedly, the detective asked everyone to show him their hands and found out who lied to him immediately. That person was the murderer. How did Stevens uncover I know. the criminal? I know it is. Time is ticking away. Tick tock. Bruh, it was Jennifer and John. If John was in a garden, his hands would be dirty. And Jennifer was swimming for hours, her hands would be soaked in water. But it's not. This is what I'm thinking. 
I mean, yes, Jai too. It could be two of them. Could have been Jai. It could have been Mia because Mia's hand is really. What, what was Mia at? Kitchen. Doing what? Never said she was in the kitchen. Her hand is squeaky clean. You can see the little shiny marks on her. I think it was the Jai or Mia. Go. I'm going with Jennifer. Jennifer is gone. Who do you think the detective was? But Jai was could have did it too. Man, that kind of name thing off can be blood. Yeah, it could be lying. Well, time is out. Here's the answer. Pay attention to the hands of Jennifer. If she had been swimming in the pool oh, for so you? long, the skin on her palms oh, would have been wrinkled. Oh, Jennifer, your pruny hands gave you away. I told you, I'm just too, I'm too good with this shit, man. That's two out of three. Number five, blood ties. A millionaire was shot in the forehead at his own home. Crazy. Detective Stevens spoke to the millionaire's three sons, Jack, John, and James, who were at home. James. Jack oh. said that night, John, their father, oh, let me guess, the wife's name is Jane, I'll bet. Anyway, the father had been at an official reception. They arrived home and entered the living room. His father came in first, then John and Jack himself. When their father came up to the stairs, James entered the living room and shot their father. John confirmed Jack's information. James said he had visited his friends that night. When he arrived home, his father had already been dead. The detective understood everything immediately. So who was the killer and how did Stevens resolve that case? What do you think? I have no idea. It was too much, it was too much going on. The name was too close to the light, so I don't know who the fuck is who. Too much going on. Man, somebody blue, 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 expect the gadget, then, bitch. The word of one brother against two others. A tricky case. I feel or like, have you already figured out I feel out like that's why I just like in case code. Let's check if you are right. John and Jack lied. If James had killed their father, a bullet would have shot him in the nape because he wanted to go upstairs. However, the wound was on his forehead. No. All right, I was thinking it was Jane, but no. Who's Jane? The wife. Number four. So who was it? Journey. Jack and oh, Jack, what was his name? Clyde. Mr. and Mrs. Clyde went on a trip to the mountains, but two days later, Mr. Clyde returned home alone. He went to the police and said that Mrs. Clyde had fallen to her death. Okay, okay. The next day, Detective Stevens visited Mr. Clyde and arrested him for his wife's murder. Clyde confessed his guilt and asked the detective how he found out he was the murderer. Stevens said he simply called a travel agent and asked for some information. What did the travel agent say to the detective? Pause the video. Pause. Um, okay. The travel agent said. I don't look at this picture. My heart fucked up. Don't, don't worry about it. And I don't care. And yeah, she fell to her death. Maybe the man had like blood on something. Or. Hold up, hold up. What is your version? Did it have anything to do with the insurance, perhaps? No, I you have keep... just a few seconds left. Stop! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Don't say me. Okay. What happened was this is my insurance. Um, maybe he just got insurance on her or whatever. You still failed it though. It don't matter. Maybe he just got insurance on her and. He, he killed her when they was going out wherever they went. Where, where, where they went. It's mountains. He's still right there. Um, That's pre premeditated murder. And he did it because he wanted her whatever money he get for his wife being dead. You know the answer? <laughs> the words of the travel agent shed light on the whole situation. Mr. Clyde bought two plane tickets to the mountains and only one return ticket. Ah, if only Mrs. Clyde had known. 
Hey, blame the Beatles. She didn't have a ticket to ride. I did all that dog on <laughs> thinking and that simple. It was so easy. Number three, liar. A man told the police that he had come home from work to find his wife's dead body lying in the middle of the parlor. He said she had apparently found his gun in his desk and shot herself. Incorrect. However, the policeman knew at once that the man was lying. How did he know? 15 seconds is all you have to I solve this mystery. You gotta move back. I don't know. Uh, let me count it up. I'm gonna hit the picture. I don't see any type of work, anything, and there's a, for whatever reason, the got blood, it, got the it. The blood wrong. What? The blood spill. Nope, I see a knife. That was, they got into it, because it it's a knife stuck in the fruit. They got into it, he shot her, he framed, he framed, he probably did get home from work, but while he got home from work, they got into it, and he framed her to make sure she shot herself, even though he didn't move the knife from the back. Now what? The blood spill. The blood spill. This is our face is like, I feel like she had something back in the head. She had something back in the head? Face is facing right there. We have that too. The policeman noticed that the man had an empty gun holster attached to his belt. It meant he'd either been about to take the gun with him or had it on him all along. I see that. The I didn't, former could be true that. because he said he'd come home from work and found his wife dead. That's why we are left with the latter, not the latter, the latter, which proves that the man had actually shot his wife. I've seen that gun holder thing, but I didn't think it was that. Number two, silly murderer. I have not got any of these right. I like two right. The detective was speaking to a doctor in a waiting room when a dismayed man rushed in and screamed, Somebody shot my wife! The detective asked the man to tell him everything. The man, Mr. Clark, said that he was at work when his housekeeper called him and said that something terrible had happened to his wife and that she was in the intensive care unit. He hung up immediately and went to the hospital. When Mr. Clark finished his story, the detective arrested him on the attempted murder charge. Well, Why I did knew he do this? Was he was cheating with he was cheating with his um mate. <laughs> I give up. I give up. I the that story now. Minds, what is your opinion? You have just a few seconds left. I didn't really give him all this because I think I only got one up, and I have not got anything right out of eight. I mean, I have like six already. Mm. In the real, the real world, on the little um, TV, the little TV shows, the real world would have been he came home, or the the housekeeper killed the wife because she was cheating with to the man. Yeah, he, he he knows exactly where she was. That's my that's my option. In fact, Mr. Clark didn't know anything about the shot. His housekeeper only said that something bad had happened to his wife. No firearm had been mentioned. By the way, are you also keeping count of how many couples are killing their spouses? So much spouse aside. What does this say about our society? Well, firstly, the killers all screw it up, but I digress. Finally, number one, the murder of an aristocrat. What's the aristocrat? Oh, I'm, I'm a George Smith joke was murdered on joker. Sunday evening. There were five other people in his house. Mr. Smith's wife, I'm betting she did it. His personal cook, a butler, a housemaid, and a gardener. They all told Detective yeah. Stevens what they were doing that evening. Mrs. Smith was reading a book near a fireplace. The cook was making breakfast. He's squeaky clean. The butler was giving instructions to workers in the living room. The housemaid was washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. The gardener was watering plants in the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Right after all the conversations, the detective arrested the murderer. 
Who was the killer? And how did Stevens find the criminal? Will you be able to solve this riddle in 15 seconds? If you want more time to consider this case, you can always pause the video. Well, the cook's not dirty, the housemaid... And I'm dirty. You should go to the housemaid or a cook. Who are you going with? The wife. Oh, because it's, it's been a lot of that going on. I want the butler too. Fuck it, the butler ain't Well, out. what is your answer? The criminal was the cook. Of course he was, I knew that all the time. The murder was committed in the evening, but he said he was making breakfast. He had to pay more attention to what he was saying. You know what I think? Mrs. Smith paid the gardener to kill her husband because he was having an affair with a housemaid. <laughs> it all fits. So, let's wrap this up. How many riddles have you solved and which one is the damn Write to us in the comments below. Share this video with your friends. That was kind of hard. So, do it for this video. Like, subscribe, eat much for more.